like any trainer, we all have big dreams. My dreams are no different. Right from day one, it was never about just being a trainer. I'm a competitive person by nature and that fire's always burned. I still enjoy getting out of bed and bouncing out at four o'clock in the morning and the, the smell of the barn when you walk in. And I think that says something about the passion for the game. Better if you push them up and make them get in company and get going. One of the big things I, I knew in the back of my mind that was that we really want to train the horses that we want to train. I arrived in Sydney, a great mate of mine who I was on the flying start with, Andy Williams, said I found the horse. We ran around to the barn at uh, Wentwood Grange and uh, as soon as he walked out of the box, I thought, geez, we can't go home without him. What do you think is his uh, most outstanding feature? Oh, just his looks. He's a real athlete. He's beautiful walk on him, carries himself perfectly. And uh, as I just said there before, he vetted out clean, which is tough to do at these sales. You have uh, 20 or so on your list and then the vet knocks him off pretty quick. But uh, he was perfect on all aspects and uh, good to get him. Virtual circle. We ran him first up at Pakenham over 1,200. Totally unsuitable trip, but I wanted him on a big track and uh, I felt he was at that stage of his development where the, the little trip to Pakenham and the experience of the race day was what he needed. Um, yeah, There's just a little glimpse up the straight that got me pretty excited and um, yeah, I came home. The result on paper didn't look great, but I came home, I couldn't have been happier. And then the next uh, five weeks were about prepping him for the Mornington Sires. Virtuous Circle driving, Virtuous Circle coming home the better on the inside, takes the lead. Oh, Virtuous Circle, a nose do it, love. Just continue to improve. He wouldn't give me an excuse to stop on him. He eats everything inside. He's a beautiful mover. We call him Kobe internally. He's just the rock star of the, uh, of the operation. So, um, yeah, we're really, really happy. Virtual circle, certainly uh, more mature, he's a lot stronger this time around. Um, really happy with where he's at. So half mile 14, so just let him finish the last 100. Yep. Nothing quicker. Yep. Right. He's a colt with a nice pedigree. Um, he's a stunning looking colt, as you saw this morning. We'd like to think he's a Guineas horse. I think races like the, uh, I think it's the Caulfield Classic over 2000, in Victoria Derby. You think it's the middle of winter, but um, spring comes at you pretty quick. So we've got Highland Harley. Um, he ran, uh, he ran five or six times as a two-year-old. Really just picked himself physically, as you can see, he's a big, strong boy. Wouldn't have thought he'd run at two, but um, he just kept uh, getting stronger and stronger as uh, the year went on. So he ran uh, first up in the Maribyrnong and then ended up running over a mile in the Fernhill in Sydney, bottomless track up there. We uh, tipped him out after that, gelded him, and uh, he's, as you can see, really thrived, put on some good condition. He's only been back in uh, a couple of weeks now, just starting to um, stretch out a bit of his work. He comes to the track twice a week, and uh, he'll just have a, a good strong canter over two here on the big sand, sort of hoping he'll turn into be a derby horse this spring. saw this morning he's um, quite happy in himself he knows he's a racehorse having had those few you know good few runs as a two-year-old he's really forward mentally um, so I think um, you know it's realistic to be uh, setting the sights on the derby at this stage of the year and um, you know everything needs to go right but um, at this stage we'll uh, we'll dream big So we've got Valerio here, he's been back in six or seven weeks now, again just starting to uh, tighten him up. He got gelded during the break and uh, as you can see he spelled really well, happy with how much condition he put on. Just taking a little while to come to hand now. Just a half mile Steph and just let him finish that last little bit. All right. Valerio, I think, is a horse that's you know, really going to fly under the radar. Beautiful mover. Um, we got towards the back end of last preparation and I wanted to get a run into him. Um, and he was, he was at a really good spot. Dropped him in the deep end a little bit off, uh, off the back of a couple of you know, good jump outs. But he hadn't, I knew he hadn't really competed against anything in particular, but I wanted to find out. So ran him at the valley and unfortunately he, he pulled up really shin sore after it. But in a really, you know, what's going to turn out to be a pretty hot race. Um, and that was a four horse race and the other three are 
have all gone on and won and all look like being um, stakes class horses. So I'm sort of hoping that uh, with a bit of natural improvement, we opted to geld him. He's a big, strong boy, so we gelded him after that, uh, that run. And he's another one that's just thrived, hoping that um, through the early part of the spring, he can um, you know, knock off his maiden and uh, see how far he can take us. But he's certainly an exciting horse at this stage of the year. I had a meeting with the, with the staff um, you know, last week and sort of got the guys in and it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily meant as a pep talk but it was just about, you know, this is the time of year when you really should be excited. We've got our best horses in and I'm bouncing out of bed in the morning and can't wait to get in and check on them and make sure they've eaten up and uh, yeah, you come down and you watch them work and it just, you know, the excitement builds and uh, yeah, we're, we're hungry.